from KBOA, investigating for you. This is News for Tucson, live at 4. We begin with breaking news, a shooting scene on the University of Arizona campus. Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Monica Garcia. Witnesses saying they heard several shots ring out around 2 o'clock in the afternoon at the John W. Harshbarger building. That's near the intersection of East 2nd Street and North Mountain Avenue. News for Tucson's Eric Feet joins us live from the U of A campus. Eric, I can imagine this was a very scary situation for faculty and students out there. Yeah, Monica, very scary, very tense over the last couple of hours. We know that classes now have been canceled for the rest of the day here on campus. Calls of a shooting coming in just after 2 o'clock to the University of Arizona Police Department about a shooting here at the Harshbarger building that is on 2nd Street just east of Park. Now, we also know that we've learned moments ago that we can confirm one person, at least one person, has been shot. We don't know the condition of the victim. We don't know their age or gender. This all happening again right around 2 o'clock, a very busy Wednesday afternoon here on campus. University police say the shooter is still on the loose, but police believe he is no longer here on campus. A tweet sent out by the University Police Department about a half hour ago saying this investigation is continuing and there is no need for people to stay in place or in lockdown right now. Police describe the suspect as a man about 35 years old, Described as about five feet, eight inches tall, short brown hair, wearing a blue baseball cap and a dark colored backpack. Again, classes have been canceled for the rest of the day. We do know that at least one person has been shot. We're working to find out the condition of the victim. We also know just in the last couple of minutes, a tweet from UAPD urging everybody to leave campus and either go off campus or go to their residence halls. We'll have a lot more throughout this newscast and the others coming up here on this developing story. We're live for now here at the University of Arizona. I'm Eric Fink, News for Tucson. Back to you guys. All right, Eric, and we just want to tell everybody that the U of A is going to be having a press conference very shortly. We will, of course, have those details as soon as that begins. Here are the details, though, once again, on the search for the shooting suspect. He is described as having a dark complexion, about 5 feet 8 inches tall. Police tell us he's around 35 years old, has short brown hair, and was wearing a blue baseball cap with a dark backpack that he was carrying. Be sure and stay with News 4 Tucson as we continue to follow this breaking story, and we will take you back out live to the scene throughout this newscast as we learn more details. We begin this half hour with breaking news. The University of Arizona Police Department is responding to a shooting on campus. News 4 Tucson's Eric Feek joins us live from the U of A campus with the very latest. Eric, what can you tell us? Yeah, quite a scary afternoon here on campus at the U of A. We know the cl classes have been canceled for the rest of the day, and we have confirmed that at least one person has been shot. That person has been taken to Banner UMC. The condition of that individual is unknown. We also do not know an age or a gender right now. Calls of a shooting coming into UAPD around 2 o'clock this afternoon at the Harshbarger building. The Harshbarger building on 2nd Street, just east of Park. We learned that uh, this all happening just after around 2 o'clock or so. University police say the shooter is on the loose, but police believe he is no longer on campus. A tweet sent out from UAPD about an hour ago or so saying the investigation continues and there's no need right now to stay in place or a lockdown. That suspect described as a man about 35 years old, 5'8", short brown hair, wearing a blue baseball cap and a dark colored backpack. Just earlier, I spoke with a student who was in class right across the street. Here is what he had to say. Take a listen. Our teacher suddenly heard a bunch of uh, police cars and whatnot blocking the road and whatnot. And then 10 minutes later, I think was it, we got the notification that there was a shooting and we locked down completely in the uh, Harville building. And back out here live again, classes canceled for the rest of the day. We do know that one, at least one person has been shot, taken to Banner UMC. That person's injuries unknown. 
at this hour. We also know that a news conference is about to get underway shortly over at University of Arizona Police Department headquarters with the chief of police. Our Lupita Murillo is standing by there. She will have the latest on that. Stay with us on this developing story on this breaking news here from campus. We're live this afternoon at the U of A. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Back to you in studio. Very scary situation. Yeah, we certainly hope to learn more in that press conference. As soon as we receive that information, we'll of course bring it to you. That Harshbarger building is right by the bookstore. So a very populated area. And uh, as we uh, heard right there, some scary moments for some students on yeah. campus. Stay with us. We will bring you the very latest as it comes into our newsroom. From KBOA, investigating for you. This is News for Tucson, live at 5. We continue to follow breaking news. One person has been shot, and police are on a manhunt to find the suspect. All of this after a shooting this afternoon on the University of Arizona campus. Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Angelique Lazardi. Right now, witnesses are saying that they heard several shots around 2 p.m. at the John W. Harshbarger building. That's near the intersection of East 2nd Street and North Mountain Avenue. But right now, we are going to get straight to News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink, who is near the area where this all happened with the latest details. Eric, what can you tell us? Angelique, Sean, police still uh, searching this area. They have it all blocked off. We can confirm that at least one person has been shot. All of this happening around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Campus officials canceling classes for the rest of the day. In fact, officials sending out a tweet just earlier urging everyone to leave campus, go off campus, or get back to their dorms. So we have learned that one person has been shot. We don't know the condition of the victim at this five o'clock hour. We don't know a gender or an age. University police say the shooter is on the loose, but police believe the shooter is no longer on campus. A tweet sent out from UAPD says the investigation continues and there is no need right now to stay in place or lock down. The suspect is described as a man about 35 years old. 5'8", short brown hair, wearing a blue baseball cap and a dark colored backpack. Again, all of this happening around 2 o'clock this afternoon at the Harsh Barger building. I spoke with a student just earlier who was in class right across the street. Here is what he had to say. Our teacher suddenly heard a bunch of uh, police cars and whatnot blocking the road and whatnot, and then 10 minutes later, I think was it, we got the notification that there was a shooting and we locked down completely in the uh, Harville building. Again, classes are canceled for the rest of the day here on campus. Our Lupita Murillo is just down the way a bit at University of Arizona Police Department headquarters, standing by for what we expect is a news conference about to get underway around 5.30 with the University Chief of Police. We will have that have the latest for you coming up at 6 o'clock. Again, we do know that one person was shot. That person transferred to Banner UMC. We do not know the extent of that person's injuries at this time. Stay with News 4 Tucson as we learn more. We're live tonight here on campus at the U of A. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. From KBOA, investigating for you, this is News 4 Tucson, live at 10. From the moment we, we took the initial call in our dispatch center to the time we got officers on scene, it was just minutes, but in that short period of time, that shooting was able to happen. A professor is dead tonight, and the University of Arizona community rocked after a shooting today inside a campus building. We continue to follow breaking news tonight as we learn more about the shooting suspect and how today's deadly events unfolded. Shots ringing out just before 2 o'clock inside the Harshbarger building. That's near 2nd Street and Mountain Avenue on campus. Let's get straight to our live team coverage. We start with News 4 Tucson's Shelly Jackson, who's learning new details on this ongoing investigation. Shelly, what can you tell us? Well, Sean, Monica, that shooting was about eight hours ago, and the area is still all closed off. Let's take a look. Now, the Tucson Police Department is helping UAPD with the crime scene investigation. 
This all started around 1.59 this afternoon. That's when UAPD says they received a call from the Harshbarger building. That's where the Department of Hydrology and Atmospheric Sciences is located. The caller said there was a former student in the building and he wasn't supposed to be there. The caller requested that police escort him out. The University of Arizona Police Department was en route when we received uh, an additional report that someone had been shot inside the Harshbarger building. UAPD received several calls reporting the shooting. Police issued U alerts asking students and staff to leave campus. The victim, a professor at the University of Arizona, later died at Banner Hospital. Yeah, from the moment we, we took the initial call in our dispatch center to the time we got officers on scene, it was just minutes, but in that short period of time, that shooting was able to happen. The Arizona Department of Public Safety apprehended the suspect just outside of Gila Bend around 5:10 Wednesday afternoon. He has been identified as 46-year-old Murat Dervish. UAPD says he used a handgun in the shooting. We do not know why Dervish was not allowed in the building, but people do know he wasn't allowed to be there. It was someone who was known to the staff member that, as a former student, uh, and they believe that he should not be in the building. And now the entire campus mourning the tragic loss. It's a tremendous tremendously tragic event. We, we feel so incredibly bad for, for the professor's family, friends, and colleagues, and our hearts really just go out to them. And now, tonight we are learning more about that suspect, Murad Dervesh. He was recently evicted from his home just west of campus. There's also a restraining out of order out on him taken by a woman living in San Diego. Live from the University of Arizona, Shelley Jackson, News 4, Tucson. Thank you, Shelly. So let's go ahead and recap what we know so far in this investigation. A professor was killed after witnesses say multiple shots rang out just before 2 o'clock in the afternoon at the Harshbarger building, which is near the student union. The name of the professor who was killed has not officially been released. The suspected shooter then drove away from the campus and following a multi-agency manhunt, he was arrested three hours later near Hilliband. The suspect has been ID'd, as Shelley just said, 46-year-old Murad Dervish, a former student of the U of A. He is in Tucson jail tonight. He's expected to face charges tomorrow morning in video court. And the impact of this deadly shooting is hitting hard tonight across our community, but especially among students and staff on the U of A campus. We continue our live team coverage with News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink. And Eric, you've been on campus uh, since just after that 911 call came in this afternoon. What have you learned tonight? Yeah, Sean, we have been here about seven and a half hours. Now, the investigation just beginning tonight and just after the shooting, I spoke with a student who was in class across the street and they had to go on lockdown. When the group chat blew up and we were all like, oh, be safe, like my heart low key dropped. And yeah. I was like, oh, I'm like, this is scary. Students were in shock when they started getting notifications on their phone. Senior Zachary Raddick was in class across the street when shots were fired. Our teacher suddenly heard a bunch of uh, police cars and whatnot blocking the road and whatnot. And then 10 minutes later, I think was it, we got the notification that there was a shooting and we locked down completely in the uh, Harville building. One student tells us she was about to go in the building where the shooting happened when she got a text. I got a notification saying that there was a suspect and we should stay away from Harshbarger and um, the professor I work for uh, messaged everybody in the lab group that we need to stay away and we were getting updates from them for a little bit. I was in the aerospace engineering building just a little bit down there. I was studying with one of my friends and uh, we heard some noise. I thought it was someone hitting the wall, but apparently it was a gunshot. Around 3.30, all classes were canceled for the rest of the day. Students and staff were urged to leave campus. Two hours later, we learned a professor was dead and the gunman was in custody. It's a little jarring knowing that something like this could happen, like so close to where you live and where you go to school. And campus officials say classes are expected to resume tomorrow. Live tonight at the U of A, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.